if I, if I make another plate to go on top of the cone, we'll cut a coin size shape there, and I, a coin size shape cut out a bit. I can then put a coin in there, and then I can make a punch to fit into the seam, with a grub screw to fit into the seam piece, to then come down to push out a hole in a coin. Once I hold the coin, you can take this bit off. Put the coin into this bit, swap for the cone. Punch, and then come down with a cone, and it begins to a Japanese hand. Which is magic, because it's growing from the coin. Right, I found a bit of steel, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set the both ends. This is, this is the other end. This is the final size. This is this is a piece from the thing. You see, it was a very very similar idea. They grinded a thing into the side of it. Coin so it fits in there nicely, and then, then the press is going to come down, pushing all straight through there. Right on this side, I'm going to cut it so there's a size of a coin sticking outwards to fit into the top of the next piece I make, which is the cone. piece what fits into the fly press. Now this piece I want to be able to fit it there. Remember the plans. This is the bottom bit, and that's coned. It's coned, so that's going to fit in there. Like that. Once it's got all in, then the cone will push it into a cone shape. But to punch it, so I want to. Punching all in it. That then fits in there. So when should we make the bits for this for the um, the cutter, the punch? That will come down. Punching all out. Take that away then. Put that into the bottom. Take that bit out, put the cone shape one in, come back in again, should push it out. Pew, pew, pew. Do it now again. Should push it out into your dome shape. 